What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert and I have a little bit different of a setup here um, for the camera, for the face cam. It's a little bit higher up. See how you guys like it. It blocks a little bit of the screen for me, uh, but I think it, uh, is, it's a little bit higher, so it, maybe it will look a little bit better for you guys. But we're back on the ninja here, level 50. So I've been leveling the character. And this is the gear we're rocking right now. Nothing too special anywhere. We need better gear, but um, it, 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 it works for right now. Nothing, nothing too great, but it gets the job done. Uh, we can take a look at the skills. I wanted to go over those in this episode with you. I did not buy any skills, so we have 214 points to spend. So let's get into this. So let's go to the bottom and take, we'll go from the bottom to the top. So we have this, we have beheading the dead, which look at that thing. That is a sick attack. That, that's something that we just have to pick up. There's, there's no choice. There's no choice but to pick up that. We have to get that. Uh, these are ninjutsu blade spin and ninjutsu black moonlight. Those are really cool. Um, probably end up adding one of these to the ring menu just to make it go a little bit quicker i don't know which one i like i think i like that one more but we'll get into that into a second in just a second if you do a double jump you can do that ground thrust that's pretty cool uh shackles it's a decent one but not great boss slaughter three that's a pretty nice one we're gonna pick up that we have boss slaughter two obviously but we're gonna pick up that the shadow clone is really cool but not really all that useful for me it's it's cool but it's eh, it, it, i don't know i just don't think i need it uh fox claw three i have to pick this up i really like that skill i have to pick up fox claw four as well ninjutsu shadow stomp this is a decent one we do use that one a fair amount so i'm gonna pick up that oh we can get it all the way up to shadow stomp four Ankle Cutter, this is another one that I use a fair amount, so we're going to pick up that as well. Suicide Fall, this is a decent attack, but not one that I feel necessary to, to pick up. Ghost Greeting, this is one that I like, so we're going to pick up that. Heart Aiming, this is a skill that I really don't ever... I don't know, it's not one that I would ever think to use. I have to pick this up because it's a skill that I use regularly, uh, I've been straying away from the shurikens and whatnot, so I don't know how much I would use these. I'm going to grab this shuriken fight flight, um, and that will use up pretty much the rest of my points for now. Obviously, we're going to continue to level this character and complete main story missions, so I'll be able to grab some more stuff uh, in the future, but we can get into this. We got to clear out 55 Rudum out, uh, outstation uh, enemies. Uh, we do not one-shot these guys, so we'll be a little bit more challenging in this video. But we do like three-shot them, so not too difficult. Go. I have had to, with enemies taking more than one hit anymore, I do mix this into my arsenal a little bit more. And so... It's not, it's still not the Grest against regular enemies, but it gets the job done. And I like that. Oops. Oh, no. That's what I wanted to do. That skill's like, I don't know, I like that skill, but it's still kind of a, it's kind of a iffy skill to ever actually use against re regular enemies. I like it, but it's kind of one of those. Eh, probably not worth using against... Just regular mobs. It would be good if more mobs had like a shield or something like that to combat you with, but most of them don't have that, so I want it. Let me do my... There we go. Sometimes I mess up the button inputs for these skills. This is a lot more... I have a much more... I don't know, I guess I'll say elaborate rotation with this character that I do with my- My sorceress is like a pretty simple rotation with that. I like the rotation with her, but it's a much easier rotation to do. I don't mess it up nearly as bad.
I mess up the rotation for this all the time. I pretty much know the button presses that I want to do. And so if I can just get them in some sort of order, I'm happy. That's a skill that I bought that I, I kind of regret that skill. I don't wildly regret it, but I do regret it to a certain extent. I need to pick a moment in time and use 100% combat XP scrolls. I don't know exactly when I'm going to do that. Um, because I think I have two left. I have one left. But I do need to use that. I need to, at some point, use that and then um, get that up. I don't know if I'm going to get... Okay. I'm not sure I'm going to get to level 158 since I since I haven't got there on my main, but I am going to get them to one to 55. 55 is pretty easy through completing the campaign. I should probably get them to one to 58 so that I can get either the Ogre Ring, Ring of Crescent Guardian, Basilisk Belt, or Toongrad Earrings. Um, I should probably get it done so that I can get one of those. Um, haven't quite decided. I need all of this. Uh, it's kind of crazy that it's like three levels, but it's like a hard three levels. And I don't have my Sorceress to 58. I, I have to figure it out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably... We'll do this episode of me being at level 50. We'll probably get to 51 in this episode, maybe. And then I'll descend on trying to get the story completed. But I can't go to the 55 levels yet. So it's all the way up to this. And obviously we have a decent chunk of... Of story quests still to do and so I'm not ruling it out of the question that we get to 58 I need to do a stop and farm for 10 minutes somewhere use that double XP get that up for and for 10 minutes just 10 minutes I, I have a hard time I don't know it's not that my attention span can't handle farming areas I don't know I just get kind of bored running the same circle because I know it's more it's one of those things where it's more effective to run the circle than it is to actually uh, just have fun and kind of freeform, but I don't know. I probably have to freeform to entertain myself for, for farming. Uh, normally, I would cut this out, but I had something important to talk to you guys about, and that's about trying to get this character to level 58. It would feel really awkward to me to get it to 58 when my main is level 56, but, you know, that's just kind of how things go. That's, that's, how, that's how they go sometimes. Complete that. The gift... So now we need to report our findings to the main person. Um, this dude up here. The threat of the haze forest. So now we gotta go kill manchas at the forest. Which, they're decent for XP. We might farm them. They're over here. I have a little bit more to talk about, so I'm just gonna have this auto-path me there. And I'll talk about it. So... I have in the budget of time, I did like this whole layout of what I wanted to do and when I wanted to do them and all of that different stuff just for the next month to get myself prepared just to kind of know what I could get done before Black Desert on the PS4 launches. Um, as you guys can see, I've been grinding the last week. Um, I want it to stay like that. I want to upload regular content for you guys, hopefully every day. I know that's a lofty goal, but obviously there'll be days when I don't get stuff up like yesterday. Um, but the goal remain the goal still remains to get up four videos a week. Seven is like my personal goal, but four is the goal that you guys should aim to, you know, expect out of me is four videos uh, a day. Or a day, four videos a day, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab these. These are... That's Rudum. I don't want to do that one. Uh, that's Rudum. I don't want to do that one. Is there a Mancha one down here? No, that's all Rudums. I want Mancha stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go over here so we, because we got to meet the Mancha in a hut first. But yeah, that's the goal is, is, is four videos a week. Seven is like my personal goal. Um, but after I finish up the Ninja, I wanted to start the, sh I wanted to try the Shy because it's a new character. And so I definitely wanted to try her out. Oh, this is where you turn in those. I need to turn in those. I have a bunch on my main character. I have like 70 or some crazy amount like that. I don't think I have a ridiculous... Yeah, I don't have like any on this character. Okay, so now we need to fight the Manchas back here. So I'm trying to decide. Uh, they cluster spawn somewhere. Let me see. I know... I don't know if I have to actually beat this. 
Sometimes this dude has a side quest. Does he have it available? No, he doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's just go slaughter us some manchas. Actually surprised. So this is all the wild stuff. I gotta find the right spot I want to be in before I pop this. I know there's these guys, but this isn't that condensed. I thought there was a more con uh, there's another person here. Oh, uh, no, nah, there's still some... Okay, we're gonna pop it. We're gonna pop it. And then I'll continue talking. Okay, so... Like I said, with that timing, I have, you know, time to do some stuff, obviously, before Black Desert drops on the PlayStation 4. Um... Because obviously once that drops, that will be my main focus for a little while. Not an excessive amount of time. Um, but I do will have a main character over there. And I will be dedicating a large amount of time to it. What the camera angle, dude? Um, and I plan to still, you know, come back here. And, and my enjoyment in the game, I'll talk about this more. I'm going to do a preview video for PlayStation people that have never done anything and especially with the console since that's the only experience i've had i feel like i can talk about the console a lot more and different stuff for the console um and so i'll talk about it more there but i get my most enjoyment out of this leveling up characters kind of not rushing through the story but playing through the story and enjoying that aspect of the game i'm not super into the end game because i'm not a huge pvp -er. one of these days i will probably get into it and probably enjoy it but for now i really enjoy this kind of aspect of the game just playing through having fun leveling a character while it feels like you're actually making progress and then i don't know like 55 56 is where it kind of dies 55 55 to 56 is the worst that is the absolute worst of all time that takes so long it feels like such a pain i mean you guys saw my grind from 55 to 56 pretty much on the channel on my sorceress it was a it was a nightmare that that thing takes forever it just doesn't feel like you're making any progress like you farm for like an hour and a half and wh what do you get out of it you get like 12 percent. it's like something terrible but, you know, that's just how it goes. Just kind of how it ends up going. But point is, is that's my enjoyment. So I might as well test out all the characters and give them all a try. Um, and so Shy is the next one I want to test. So she will start immediately after I finish up with this. Um, whether that's... Because the issue is, is if I go to 55, that'll end a lot quicker than 58. I have a feeling that I'll probably go to 58 and it'll just require me to farm like I don't know how long I have to do this I gotta check okay you need to die and then let's come down here quickly look at this we have until August 7th which is a decent amount of time I feel like if I did an hour of farming a day which I think I could handle on this character in various in in the correct areas I need to go to the correct areas to do the farming but I feel like if I did the correct areas and I actually did the farms, we could get there by August 7th. It would not be, you know, it would probably cut it a little bit close, but we could always grind a little bit more at the end game. But um, the point is, is that I will be starting, if I decide to go to 58, I will start the shy after I get done with 55. And then I also hope to do kind of a ranger, because the shy is going to be its own thing. And that's just going to be a shorter series. I probably won't get the shy to 58, because there's no, there's no extra reward for putting myself through leveling the shy up a bunch. Um, so I'll probably just get her to, like, 50. I'll just rush through the story pretty much with her. And wherever that gets me, that's where it gets me. Because unless I really love her, I, I highly doubt I will. But I, there's always a chance. Bear is a lot stronger than I thought it would be. And so yeah, that's just kind of the update on on the whole thing here. But back to back to what this video is. It's a ninja video, so we'll talk about the ninja. Um, my enjoyment with this class is about the same. Uh, progressing it farther and getting more skills hasn't made me like love it more. 
and I don't think I would rank it ahead of a lot of the other classes that I do enjoy, like Lon and Dark Knight and Ranger even. I, I do enjoy Ranger, and I'm excited to see how Ranger plays in the full game since I only played her beta. Um, I do, I do uh, have a lot of interest in, in playing her again. Just to, just to see simply how she plays full release, because obviously I didn't get to see that, so I'm excited to see how that works out. Got this nice little XP boost. Let's go ahead. These rings are actually not that bad, so I'm going to put these rings on. Okay, Red Bear, back off, buddy. So we're starting to get a little bit geared up on this character, and I don't know, the, the skills are good, I like the skills, it's got a really nice variety, you can make a really nice mix, um, rotation of skills, and it's pretty good, I, I like it, but the skills, I don't know, I could probably hotbar a decent amount of them, but the overall rotation and getting the buttons down, this sounds like super lazy, but getting the buttons down is a little bit... I don't know. It, it's a little bit heavier of a skill-based class than I expected. Even with them like saying, oh yeah, this is a skill-based class. Um, they said that about the Sorceress, and I, I pretty much... I, I have that down to a science of my rotation for that. Um, especially Awakened. The big thing is I probably should get this character to 56 so I can use him Awakened and see how I like him. Because that probably changes the game. I mean, it changes the game with the Sorceress. I like the Sorceress a lot more Awakened than I liked her pre-Awakening. I still like her... Um, I still like her pre-Awakened, but man, I love her Awakened. I just think she's a lot better. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna save you guys the tragedy of watching me have to fight the trees, because that's like my least favorite part of this game. That is definitely my least favorite part. So we're just gonna stay here at the Manchas. We're gonna finish up the final three minutes of this double XP, and then we're gonna call this episode. Uh, I'm starting to really like the this character, but it's it's got a couple of things that I just don't like about it. Um, it's movement from mob to mob is kind of, it's kind of lackluster. I mean, you can do this, but it's got a little bit of a cooldown, so it, it doesn't help you move, like, super fast mob to mob. And the double jump is really slow. I like the double jump, but it's really slow. It doesn't help you get anywhere any way faster. So it's, it's movement from, um, mob to mob is, it's, it's kind of weak. Um... It's definitely, it's definitely a good PvP character, I just know that to a certain extent, and, but it's, it lacks a little, it's a good 1v1 against a boss fighter, but mobs, it, it could be better, like a lot better. It needs a f movement, a better movement that goes into an attack. I mean, it's got some decent movements that, that don't go into attacks, which is fine. This is, like, the best thing it's got that includes an attack, that dash forward. But if you kill a mob too fast, it's kind of gone. You can't, like, keep doing it. So that's, like, the one issue. Is that even if you use it, you can't... I can't, go, I can't kill these guys really quick and then go to another mob with that skill. So I might as well, you know... It makes the rotation of skills a little easier because you're simply just... You don't have to do as much. You don't have to rotate your skills as much because... Just simply because there's... It, you're not moving as fast from enemies to enemies. Even if, even if you nail your skills perfectly, it's just a little bit... I don't know. I could probably add something to the rotation... I could probably add that quick jump forward to the rotation, but then I would need to—I would either have to give up or have everything killed. So I don't know. My opinion on this—we're we're gonna keep playing, and then I'll formulate a final opinion when I get to uh, the end of the series. Obviously, there will be a—obviously, there's gonna be an end because this isn't gonna be a main for me. 
Unless the Awakening just makes this thing, like, just god-tier levels of fun, I won't be maining this past this series. Obviously, if I continue to just do playthroughs of this and have fun and, and see how fast I can level and do different stuff like that, I will probably end up playing this again, but I don't think we're going to be like heavy, heavy playing this character. I just really like... See, I have to judge everything up against how much I enjoy the Sorceress because the Sorceress I have most time invested in resources invested in because i really like the see the one thing is is you have to beat the if you gotta beat the sorceress in fashion you gotta look better than the sorceress and i love i absolutely love that skin i have for the sorceress so you know makes it a little difficult for every other hero to compete since i like that outfit so much i like love that outfit that's like my favorite outfit for any character in like any game i've played for a while like, where I've cared about how my character looks, that's, like, the best in a while. In a long while. But, we got to 83.5%-ish. Uh, we do need to turn this quest in down here. And then, that's gonna pretty much be this episode. Not the most exciting episode, I know, but uh, we did get uh, a decent amount of stuff accomplished today. Um... And we went over the skills, which which is the most, the biggest thing that I want to show you guys is skills and stuff like that. I'll have a full recap wrap-up video um, of the whole thing when it's all said and done, going over what skills, if I reset them, um, which I might do, what skills I currently have on now and stuff like that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new overlay. I think I'm going to cut out the thing that has my name. That says rejected gaming. I think I'm going to cut that out. That's kind of, eh, I don't know. I, I don't think I love that. But um, I think I'm going to leave the new camera overlay. I like that it includes Siri. It doesn't cut off too much of my hotbar at the bottom. It cuts off like a shade of the potion and a shade of the showing that I need to click left on the D-pad. But other than that, it shows pretty much everything. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have and not. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.